Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so um, we the 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 thumbnail says the the best by project review. And can y'all hear me? Somebody drop a, a, a one in the chat if you could, just so I could see that everybody can hear me. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. And then so um just 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 so you know who I am, my name is Terrence Pounds. Um I am not a financial advisor. Let's get this out the way. Um I'm a super risky YouTube dude. Uh I'm in multiple plays out here in this space. Uh, some of them win, some of them losses, some of them rug pulls, some of them scams. Uh, you know, I am I am in some of everything. And then with this um, space, every single project I talk about comes along with risk. Every single one does. And so you can lose some or all of your money in every single thing that I talk about. And then so for for today, um, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of talking about other things. I'm going to get right into the projects. Now, I have the thumbnail up there, the uh, top five best projects. I didn't say my favorite. I didn't say, you know, the highest pain. I didn't say anything. I kind of left that open for the for best. And, and everybody's best might be a little bit different. You know, somebody might be looking at what's been paying the longest. Somebody might be looking at what pays the most. Somebody might be looking at, you know, the best team behind it, the best transparency. So, you know, best is kind of, you know, subjective to that person that's putting it on. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Instead of me going with my preconceived notion of the five projects I was going to show you today, I want you to tell me what you want to see. Now, this is how you're going to decide. I have a few different categories for you. So I have ROI dApps. So everything would be an ROI dApp. I also have new stuff. Everything would be new, like that I recently got into. And then I just got a, a, a foundational five. So for everybody that wants to see five ROI dApps, Drop a one in the chat. I mean, drop a drop a uh, drop a five in the chat right now for five IRR ROI dads. So, and and I'm gonna tell you what those five would be, just so that you know what we would be covering as well. And I got a few different options, and you can make up your mind. You you don't have to say all ROI dads. Those ROI dads, just so you know, would be ArcFi, Bitforge, Solar Road. Uh, Binance Wealth Matrix and Big Big Well and maybe Speak Easy. Now, if you don't want to see ROI DApps, which a lot of people aren't into Web three wallets, don't necessarily care about ROI DApps. I also can do new projects, and I'm not talking about sponsored videos. And just for the record, folks, when I do sponsored, you should probably run away. Okay, if they're paying me to do the video, don't come ask me how's it doing and all that different stuff. I have no idea why they want to pay me. I don't even want to help you get involved, to be honest with you. And you got to use extreme caution and risk. And the only reason that I'm in most sponsored videos is because they paid me to do the video. I need you to understand that. So stop like uh, 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 comparing every sponsored video to C12. C12 has been running for six months. And C12 ain't never sponsored me a video, just for the record. They've never paid me to do a video. And then so the projects that generally pay me generally don't last very long. So just keep that in mind and always proceed with extreme caution. Now, folks, if you don't want to hear about the ROI dApps, then I also was going to cover the private projects. Now, private projects would cover Lance Green. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said this right now. Uh, maybe I can delete that out. Well, regardless, if it's private, it's going to be covering Lance Green. It's also going to be covering Anonymous, and it also will be covering uh, Crypto Program. Those are the only three privates we'll be covering. So if you want to see privates, you can drop a six in the chat. If you want to see privates, you can drop a six in the chat. Now, um, if you don't want to see privates, we can also do um, a pretty good mix of five, which would be Fintosh, Coin Market Bull, C12, Funds, and Vorti. So if you want to see those, drop the seven in the chat. If you want to see Fintosh, 
CMB, which is Coin Market Bull, C12, Funds and Vortic United, drop a seven in the chat. Believe it or not, we got a lot of fives in there. We got some sixes and sevens. So once again, folks, five is for ROI dApps. Five is for ROI dApps. And then um, six is for new projects. ETF pool, Binance Wealth Matrix, Bitforge, and Solar Road, which you get kind of those in the ROI dApps anyway. And then you got the the standards, the, the Fento, CMB, C12, Funds, and Vortic, which is a number six. Now, I'm going to just scroll through this chat real, real quickly. <laughs> Somebody did a whole bunch of sixes. Uh, somebody says fives and sixes. All right, fives and sixes have taken out, honestly, the the sevens by far. So um, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll be able to probably get through fives and sixes all in the same breath. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get into this then. All right. So, uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here, since we're going to do, uh, fives and sixes, let me see here. Let's get into the ROI dApps first. All right. So let's do this. Let me pull up my ROI dApps. Log into this here. Let me get logged into my meta. And then now that I'm logged into my meta, let me go ahead and share my screen here. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Okay, here we go. All right, so you you know where we was going to start. You know, we got to start with uh, my favorite ROI dApp in this space, uh, which is ArcFi nonetheless. And it's a perfect time to talk about ArcFi because there's a lot of things going on with ArcFi. And let's get the elephant out the room. The price of ArcFi's token has dropped. ArcFi's token is $2.58. If any of you came on the team when I got in ArcFi, then you know that that ArcFi price of that token was probably around $5.71. So the price of Arc has dropped over $3 per token. Now, let's talk about why did it drop. The reason that the price of Arc token dropped was because there was a massive sell-off. Now, that sell-off was probably coordinated in order to try to crash ARC. Now, what ARC has done is they have what is called the Intelligent Liquidity Controller. Now, this ILC reserves is what helps keep the ARC price balanced and to be able to keep uh, the smart contract prices controlled in everything. Now, what happens with this ILC is when the buys get too high, then it will actually sell some ARC tokens. When the buys get too low, it will buy some ARC tokens. But with the actual uh, planned attack from the other day, um, the independent liquidity controller did what it had to do, and it saved ARC's prices. Now, so what you have here is a $2.58 ARC token. So the folks that have been in it for some time, that doesn't really make a huge difference because most of them have ROI'd out of, uh, out of ArcFi already. Now, if they came in at a later point in time in ArcFi, uh, within the last 30 days or 60 days, then they're looking at their numbers on their wallet a lot lower. Now, let me show you something so you just kind of understand how, how this works here, right? I am opening up my vault. Okay. And then I'm not going to do an arc view, uh, arc fi uh, complete. Well, maybe I will. Um, I'm opening up my vault here. 
Now, the vault is what shows everything that is happening in your ArcFi wallet. Now, ArcFi, for those of you that don't know, has been around since December and it pays up to 2% per day. And then folks, every day your rewards tick down on a timer. And what this does is it shows you your rewards. Now, as this, you look down here, this is a compound withdrawal ratio. It tracks how often you compound and how often you withdraw. There's also max payout progress because they pay you out until you get to 80,000 ARC tokens. This shows my principal balance at 31,000. And then this also shows my max payout at $92,000 from ARC. This shows what I've deposited. It shows what I've compounded. It also shows you what I've withdrawn. Pending referral rewards, tax levels, you name it. If you're one of those people that like to have all of the data surrounding your investment, there's nothing better, in my personal opinion, than the information that ARC provides to you. And then, folks, you can easily reinvest with the simple deposit button because the ARC tokens automatically drip down to you in your MetaMask wallet. And then, folks, you can set this thing and forget it. You can set it up for auto allocation. It automatically compounds and it automatically withdraws. Now, folks, I've been quoted for saying I love ARC. And then people are probably thinking, well, how can you love it if your token price just went in half? Folks, this literally said $199,000 before Mother's Day. So I'm looking at a payout of $199,000. Now I'm looking at $92,000. So you may wonder how I feel. Well, ARC is long-term. Just because where the token price is at right now, um, that doesn't mean anything. ARC has a two, three, five-year plan. Some people are compounding to their wallets, hit max wallets, like I'm compounding for max wallets till I hit max wallet. That was my plan and goal anyway. So the short-term intermediate price of ARC doesn't make me a whole lot of difference right now, just for the simple fact that, for one, I can buy more at a cheaper price. So folks, believe it or not, I actually went and bought more ARC wallets. You know, and then so for an investor, you have to understand buying the dip. And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I did. You know, I'm, I'm in ARC for the long haul. It's still number one, hands down, my favorite app. And you're still making a ton of money. Even if you're only, you, you're making, even if you've been in ARC, you're still earning every single day 2% on that. And if you hadn't got an ARC, folks, now's the time. If you thought about ARC and, hey, maybe it was too expensive and you didn't know what was going on, like you literally can buy ARC half price. And then not only can you buy ARC half price, which I've done, I bought another 8,000 ARC tokens half price. Um, they also have a new seed round coming up where you're going to be able to get into the new ArcNet token and the on and off ramp. And they also have the ARC debit card coming. The reason that most of these projects don't last, uh, and I'm talking ROI dApps, is because they have no external revenue coming into the project. Well, ArcFi has a whole suite of revenue coming to the project to keep this thing going. But the reserves are going back up. The more these ILC reserves go back up, you'll start seeing the ARC price token come back up. But ultimately, folks, you if you ever thought about getting an ARC, now's a phenomenal time because the tokens are literally half price. All right. So I'm going to show you that on ARC. We're going to hold the questions to the end of these ROI dApps. And then I'll open it up for questions at the end of these ROI dApps. All right. And then so the next one that I'm going to bring up for you here is uh, Bitforge. And to get started with ARC, folks, uh, it's just a matter of buying 10 ARC tokens. And then so ARC's price is only $3 a token right now. So you can get started for with ARC for less than $40, which is crazy. So now is definitely the time. Now, let me go ahead and show you um, Bitforge. Now, Bitforge is 
join the world of Bitcoin mining and decentralized smart contracts and earn 1.8 to 2.8% per day. Now, folks, this thing has been paying me. I've been in it. Very easy to get started in this, right? Um, so very easy to get started in this. And you simply connect your ROI DAP. You need USDC or USDT on the Binance network. Same thing for the ArcFi app. You simply get connected and you get going. Now, folks, they have a simple 25-day plan. So they lock your seed capital up for 25 days, but you still get about 2% every single day, folks. Now, let me tell you a little bit about what this company does, and then I'll get into showing you what it's done for me already, because I'm almost about through a 25-a-day cycle. All right. And then so earn 2% a day passively income. A bit Forge is dedicated to making cryptocurrency mining more accessible by lowering the cost barrier. Traditional mining can be expensive and it requires expertise to operate, discouraging many people from participating. To address this issue, BitForge combines cloud computing power with machine mining computing power to create a new cryptocurrency mining protocol that utilizes both resources. Now, their blockchain technology ensures fairness and transparency while users pledge their cryptocurrency assets to get computing power and returns. To effectively mitigate the impact of cryptocurrency volatility on investments, we offer fixed period and fixed yield products to ensure stable return for investors. Now, their vision is to break down the barriers of Bitcoin mining, make it more accessible and capable of bringing more stable and substantial returns every single year. Now, I'm not about to get into all of the little different things they want to talk about uh, in Bitcoin, but they have uh, what they do is they provide a comprehensive Bitcoin mining facility that allows users to participate in mining at a low threshold. So by pledging their crypto assets, users can attain computing power and stable income without the high investments and maintenance cost of operating independently. Bitforge's goal is to uh, enable every user to participate in Bitcoin mining with low risk and cost while enjoying professional operation and optimization of services. And then this is where they say that their Bitforge data center is located in Ethiopia. And then they have some specific stable network lines, combined cooling systems, high load power network facilities, complete security facilities, and professional operating and maintenance team. Now, complete and efficient services. And then you can come and read a little more over here about what they have to stay. And then so folks, essentially what you're doing is uh, staking and they're doing mining. Now, it's a simple investment method. You only need USDC, BEP20, or USDT. The minimum is $50. As I already told you, it's a 25-day plan that pays every day 1.8 to 2.8%. And you do get your initial investment back at the end of the 25-day plan. Now, they only charge 3% when you withdraw to cover the cost of operating. Bitforge protects its users, which measures built in such as firewalls, ensuring that users do not have to worry about loss to malicious attacks. And they have customer service. Now, folks, here's another thing here. They do have a roadmap. You can come over and check out their roadmap and the things that they have planned for coming up in the future. They do have frequently asked questions on their white paper. And yes, you can compound. And then folks, here's their team, Half and Hopes, uh, Paul, Gustave Gracie, Askumar Kumar, and Salvatore Accardo. Now folks, lastly, here's one thing. They actually have a KYC, which means know your customer. They have their KYC right here by cybersecurity. You can come and check it out. And their contract has been audited by the stamp. 
which is big stuff, folks. So they have some of the legitimate things that I think people are looking for. And this thing has been paying me. And then so let me go ahead and open up the DAP. And then let me make sure I got my wallet connected here. You can see that there's been almost a half a million or a little over 400,000 in deposits, 133 in revenue, 3,000 miners, 930 deposits, 34,000 withdrawn. You see the daily revenue. Now, you can see right here on this particular account, um, I have claimed $500 out of this account here so far. And then you can also see in this particular account that you can put in USDT or USC. And then you can see that this thousand dollars right here, it only has three days and 22, uh, three days and 22 hours left on this so that I will be able to get my initial deposit back of a thousand dollars. Then I just wanted to see how it works to go ahead and reinvest. So I opened up another $15 slot right there. Then your referral links are right here. This is where you get your referral claims. And this shows you the people or the address, excuse me, the address, the address wallets of the people that actually signed up on your team. So I've had a few people sign up, but folks, you realize that I get in projects not because you're going to sign up. I get in projects with the hope that I can make some capital. And this particular project's been paying me for almost 25 days now and is paying higher than just about anything in the space. And then, so I think that that's something you need to be aware of. Now, folks, I do have a couple wallets on this. Um, I decided to go a little heavier from the beginning. It's been going since March. I have roughly about $8,000 locked up into this particular project. So that's Bitforge. Um, been going for almost two months now. I've been in obviously almost 25 days. All righty. So now let me get into the next project here. Uh, we're gonna take a look here at Solar Road, all right? Now, let me see here, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want, let me see with the Solar. Uh, let's, here we go, Solar Road app, here we go. And as you know, some of you may or may not be familiar with Solar Road. Now, I did a video review of it a few weeks ago when I actually got involved in the project. Um, and then when I got involved in the project, um, let me see here. When I got involved in the project, I, I did a review and then it seemed a little shady to me. I'm just being honest with you, right? It seemed a little shady to me. However, the project has been paying and it is huge overseas. And it's really simple. You make between 1.5 to 1 point, excuse me, 1 to 1 1.5% a day. Now you can set up and you can invest for 15 days, 30 days, or a 60 day term. Now, depending on how long you invest depends on how much you get paid. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, when I very first got in it, I said, I'm going to go super heavy in this particular project just to start off. But then when I was reviewing it, it just seemed kind of sketchy a little bit. I'm just being honest with you, right? And so I backed off on going super hard. I just do 500 in one account, 500 in another account. Now, what's truly amazing about the project is not the one to one and a half percent that you actually make. It's actually the price of the SOD token. Now, what you have to understand about this, you get started with this project with USDT. So you get started with USDT. Now, that USDT, when you come in the project and you insert it into the mining protocol, then what they do with the supercomputing, they wind up shooting you out their native token. Now, their native token is called Acon. So stay with me. Don't get confused by all the token names. You start with USDT. They pay you out in their token called Acon. And then that Acon token, you can stake it for SOD. Then you're probably like, well, what is SOD? Well, SOD is this token that's been going nuts. So this project's only been around about a month 
And the SOD token was $20 when it launched. I know you see it. It's $1,600 right now, which is crazy when you put that in perspective. It's $1,600 right now. A month ago, it was 20. So they're kind of comparing this to um, your... Um, your 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 fintos where the token has went nuts but however this token right now you can actually sell it the fintos token you can't sell it yet it's locked up for a period of time and so people are chunking it with this token and then part of it is folks you know I'm in it I had the little $500 going in there and you know and thankful for that to be in there to get the 1 to 1 1.5% a day but what the news is is the price of this token and then so just like literally uh, like uh, it was like maybe a week, week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I was going to buy some of the tokens, some of the side tokens and just, you know, full transparency. I hadn't did a lot of research to find out where to go buy that side token. I thought I could buy it right here from the dashboard. But then I found out that you cannot buy it from the dashboard. You actually have to go to a whole nother site to actually buy the SOD token, which is the OTC Solar Row. So let me show you this other site here. And then I know you may have some questions later, but you guys wanted to see a whole lot of different stuff today. So uh, I can't give you 15 and 20 minute overviews on them all, but I can show you a couple of things here. Okay, so let me connect this wallet here. Let me get the appropriate wallet to connect. And it's this one right here. Oh, let me, I'm sorry, here we go. Yeah, we got it. Getting connected here, folks. Okay, all right. So if you can see, um, this is this is the Solar Road market. Now the Solar Road market is not Solar Road. I guess it's some type of team that, uh, or or a marketplace where Solar Road or the Sod token is sold and a console token is sold. Now this is a secondary market, okay? And so keep that in mind. Now, when you come over here in the secondary market, which I just got going with this today, is pretty cool. Um, you can see that what's in my wallet there. And then you come over here and you can actually buy SOD tokens or you can create a listing for SOD tokens. Now, let me show you what I mean. So the token price, when we looked over here, let me show you, token price is $15.98, right? On the marketplace, let me refresh this. Okay, here we go. Refresh. On the marketplace over here, if you wanted to buy one, here's the lowest price you can buy, $17.75. See, $15.98 over here, $17.95 over here. Now, the only way you can get side tokens is either by investing into the platform, which they're going to print you out A coins, then you can stake those A coins and earn SOD, or you can come over here and buy SOD. Now, folks, I'll be honest with you. I hate that I missed it when uh, they had the uh, the price was 150 and I was going to spend three grand. I hate that I missed it. Now the price is 1500. So what I decided anyway today was that I was still going to buy some tokens. And now let me pull this up. Maybe my wrong wallet is connected. I need to get the correct wallet connected here so I can show you what this looks like in here. And that is definitely the wrong wallet connected because I want to be down here. We almost there. Okay. And then let's go here and refresh this and make sure that this wallet is connected. Okay, here you go. So now you see my history. So just today, I went and bought a side of 1695. I bought almost one at 1650. I bought almost one at 1658. I bought almost one at 1660. I bought one at 1665, one at 1674, 
almost a quarter at 1680 and one at 1698. So I literally bought side tokens today that I could literally turn around and flip right here on the OTC market right now for a profit. Now, folks, you know, I have no uh, no desire right now to actually list them um, because I think they're going to go somewhere. Now, I'm not saying this is a legacy project. I think this stuff is super high risk. I think it's super duper high risk. However, though, um, I'm about getting dollars and it's still early. It's the first 30 days. I drunk the Kool-Aid. I went on and, and got me uh, some solar road, some side tokens. And you know, where do I think this token is going? It could go anywhere. I have seen it go from $20 to 1600 sitting on the sidelines and I'm not waiting anymore. So that's solar road. That's the side token. I have longer overviews, but the truth of the matter is the big news about this project is that right there. All right. Now, let me go ahead and pull up the next project here, uh, which is uh, Binance Wealth Matrix. Binance Wealth Matrix. It's a new project that I just got in a few days ago. You see that it's only been going for five days. Now, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and tell you a little bit about it before I open up my app, right? It's the exclusive home of the Climb token. Climb token starting price, folks. Here's another appreciating token platform. The price of this token started at $1. The current price in five days is $1.36. So the token price has already increased 36% in five days. I'm not missing another one. I'm here from the beginning. Now you can invest, reinvest, or redeem. Anytime you do any of these actions, the price of the climb token goes up. So hear me out. You purchase, you buy, you reinvest, any of that, the price of the climb token climbs. Fully collateralized with USDT and BUSD, and it's a passive income generator, which the asset that never depreciates. They have a Telegram, they have a Twitter, and folks, they've been audited by Solid Proof. So you can go check out the project. Now, let me read you just quickly, and not all of this, because it took me 17 minutes when I did the first video, but I'm going to give you just a little bit, and you can go check out just a little bit more yourself, right? So each client token utilizes a built-in contract a uh, built-in contract exchange system that renounces the need for a traditional liquidity pool rather than a liquidity pool pairing. And some people may not even understand how liquidity pools work, but the way they do work is you have an equal part of one asset with an equal part of another asset. Generally, there's a stable coin and then some type of fluctuating asset, generally, right? Not always, but generally. Now, in this particular pairing here, right, um, to purchase Klein tokens, to get the token that goes up, each investor interacts directly with the contract via the DAP using BUSD on the Binance Smart Chain or Tether BEP20, okay? Tether on the Binance Smart Chain. So once again, everything I've showed you is on the Binance Smart Chain in these MetaMask wallets, right? Now, it also has you right here these contracts are commonly referred to swapper contracts. This mitigates the need for decentralized exchange and centralized exchange. Simply put, when the contract receives BUSD or Tether, the BUSD or Tether is swapped for the backing asset and the price value equivalent of climb are minted to increase the total supply. And like I told you, redeeming or selling has the opposite effect total supply is decreased and the backing asset is converted back in the BUSD or Tether and returned to the investor's wallet. Climb's price is not set by a standard market maker protocol through the power of mathematics, a different equation for determining price and movement is used. Now, I'm not going to get into all of the different things and how this works. You should be doing that 1000% on your own research but there is a 5% buy tax, folks, and there's also a 5% on the sales tax. You can jump in and see where all of these different taxes go, but it's not a whole lot on the tax side. 
Here's their frequently asked questions. This is a first of its kind passive income generator. So this is pretty dope. It's something new. I like new. Only way you can sit back and say I've been in projects from the beginning is if you did it in the beginning. And then if you act like, oh, well, I missed it, well, then you missed it. Now, I hope this thing stays around, but you never know in this space, these things come and go. But one thing I do know, I'm going to get in, get my initial seed capital off the table, and I'm going to keep it moving and play with house capital because that's just the way I do it. Now, folks, let me go up here and let me get logged in so you can see this interface here. And uh, let me connect the appropriate wallet here. And I don't want Solar Road. Uh, I want to go to Binance Wealth Matrix here. And then let me go ahead and refresh my screen. And then this should go ahead and populate here. Okay, so now you're on my screen. You see my personal stats on one account. What I like about this project is that you can hyper compound. Now it's on a 12 uh, hour cycle. So you have to go back in here every 12 hours at minimum or your timer stops. So if you want to keep earning rewards, you got to go back in. So like right now, I'm going to go ahead and reinvest this climb right now while we're sitting here. And then basically I got another 12 hours. That puts me about 742. But you are, obviously, I hope everybody on the call understands the power of compound interest and the power of hyper, hyper compounding. Now, folks, you do, you are going to have uh, uh, fees every time you compound, whatever the wallet fees are for charging. Um, but some people are doing this thing every 30 minutes. Some people are doing this thing every hour. Uh, some people are really super on top of this thing, just constantly getting at it. But now folks that already reinvested, you see that my total invested here is 1627. My vault TVL is 2217. I'm basically getting 42 climb every hour. We know we climb, I mean, every day, every 12 hours. And this is on this one account. So on this particular account, I did 1600 in here. Um, I do have another account that I threw 6,000 in that, but I figure I'm gonna hit it hard from the beginning. I'm gonna see what this thing does and I'm gonna get my money back out of here. Then I'm gonna play with house capital. But I do think it's nice, it's new, it's unique. And if you're looking for something that is paying out uh, 3% a day, which I think I left that out for you, you get 3% a day, which is very, very strong. So 3% a day, brand new, appreciating price and token, I'm all in right now. All right, folks, let me bring up another ROI DAP. And then once we get through these ROI DAPs, I'm actually gonna open up for questions. Once we get through these ROI DAPs, I am almost there. Um, and then this one right here is Big Well. Now, Big Well, I have been in since the day it launched. Now, Big Well Smart Contract, um, I think it's been going for almost two months now. Don't hold me on it. And it's very simple. You connect through a number of different Web3 platforms. It pays between 0.8% a day and 0.2%, excuse me, 0.8% a day and 2% a day depending on how much you actually decide to deposit. Now, the more you deposit, the bigger that is. Let me change over to uh, my Big Whale main account here and switching over here. So this should connect on MetaMask here and read. But I started with 5 BNB. And then you can obviously see my dashboard just connected. I got 5 BNB staking balance. 5 BNB, I started with my daily ROI is 1.2%. Uh, referral rewards, I made $40 in referral rewards, right? So they just did an update, folks. And then you can see over here, here's my wallet balance. And I can withdraw that or, excuse me, withdraw my daily earnings at any point in time or make a withdrawal. And then that is 0.6. But this thing has been paying, folks. And then you see that I have some downline, almost 90 people or 90 BNB, uh, only 20 people, but 90 BNB in my downline, which is pretty strong for just only 20 people. So some people are pumping some stuff in this particular project. Now, folks, here's another thing. They've been audited by CERTIC, audited by CERTIC, folks. So they do have an audit. And, you know, some of this stuff out here has none of that. 
Um, but what this is, is a lending and borrowing protocol. Essentially, what you do is you provide them capital, they lend the capital out, and then they give you a return on your investment. Pretty simple platform, been working and going for a couple months. All right, so here's the last ROI DAP that I'm going to show you. And then we're going to open up for questions. And then we're going to get into uh, a couple other things uh, before we get off of here today. And then so this is Speak Easy. This is another one. I have been in Speak Easy since the pre-launch. And so, you know, you kind of see a common theme of like me liking to get in projects early on, because if you can get in them early on, you have an opportunity to, to get out before things get crazy, right? Now, Speak Easy is pretty simple. You come over, you get started, is BNB on the Binance Network once again. And all you're doing is buying these NFTs. Now, when you buy the NFT, it's not like other NFTs. All it does is increase your rate of what you get paid. So you can decide to get started and just make a quarter of a percent a day, or you can get the increase and get to 50% a day. And then they also have other NFTs that it can increase you up to one and a half percent per day. So I got two accounts. One of them's one and a half percent. Other ones, um, 1.25 or something like that. And it's been printing. This thing has been going for a couple months. They show everything that you have going on. And so they're very transparent. And what they do is they basically just invest in other projects. They invest in other projects in the space and the other projects that they invest in the space is what they pay you off of. So let me see if I can get this pulled up here. I don't have these lettered over here, so I won't be able to show you it connected. But um, I think you got the ideal of this particular project. In a matter of fact, I'm going to do a video because I've never done a full video on this just by itself. All right. So let me stop the screen share here. And then let me see if I can get you guys to unmute here. Um, let me see here. And actually, I guess if you want to say something, the easiest way is just raise your hand and then I can unmute you. That would probably be easiest today. Let me see here. Let me see. Oh, here we go. All right. You should be able to unmute yourself now. Cannot unmute yourself. I can. Okay. All right. Perfect. So we have no questions for Arc5, Bitforge, Solar Road, Binance Well, Big Well, or Speakeasy. And if not, no problem. We're going to keep it moving. Perfect. Dennis, I'll, be the, I'll, I'll be the one to ask a question. Go right ahead. So at the risk of sounding like the newbie that I am, I just want to ask about the, um, the, okay. So in the beginning you were talking about purchasing those, uh, well, doing those different investments through the USDC, USDT. And this is my first time on this Zoom. And quite frankly, I was in my first investment of these types. You know, I don't really have the hang of it at all. So my first question is, what would be my uh, best resource to spend some time in so that I can get the hang of the verbiage and what more of it means? I kind of have a little bit of a mind of what it means, but I definitely don't have the experience in crypto. So what would be a good resource for me? So the 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 resource is really um so every project's going to be a little bit different. Um but now I'm not sure how familiar you are with crypto as a whole. So do you have um a crypto wallet set up? Uh first question and have you sent cryptocurrency to and from places ever before? Only you. Okay, only me. Okay. All right, no worries about that. So a lot of people on the phone um, I, per, I mean, on this call, I've personally been on Zooms with them um, and helped them uh, send, get set up. Um, there's still people that call me still to this day <laughs> that some projects I've been in for six months. And, hey, can you help me with this, bro? And so um, the resource is me, you know, for 
uh, the, especially the projects that I'm in. Then also my admins in the Telegram channel, the projects that I'm in, they can help you with onboarding assistance there. And then some of these, I do have step-by-step -step videos. But ultimately, um, I'm going to oversimplify crypto and crypto wallets as a whole. Um, whenever you go into a crypto wallet, and, and that's an exchange like Coinbase, Kraken, uh, MetaMask, Binance, KuCoin, you name it, there's hundreds of them, right? Whenever you go mm -hmm. into these particular wallets, they all have essentially uh, a, just a few functions. And then once you understand that there's only a few functions, then you just really have to identify those functions. Now, here's those functions. You can send or you can withdraw. Sending and withdrawing is the same thing. In different wallets, call it different things. Or you can receive or deposit. It's the same thing. Whether you're depositing in your account or receiving something, it's the same thing. And then some of them have an, a way where you can buy you know, purchase, which is pretty simple. And then the only other terminology realistically inside the wallet that makes a whole, that, that, that most of them all have is they have swap feature or a sell feature or a convert feature. And which is all pretty much, or a trade feature, which is all the same, you know, you're taking one thing and putting it in another. Now, once you got that basis, then you can start looking at wallets like, well, I know they only going to be able to do these four or five things. And then how, I, how do I do it? Now, as far as sending currencies, and this is just an overall broad, and this will help a lot of people on the call. There's a difference between the currency, which we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Then there's a difference between a network. And then the networks could be um, ERC-20, TRC-20, Bitcoin network, Ethereum network, Tron network, Polygon. And so... The major thing with this space is knowing the functions of the wallet, which they're limited. They only do so much. And then when sending an asset, making sure that the asset and the network line up from sender and receiver. That's it. If you send in the right asset on the right network, then there's no problem. Now, well, you got wrong addresses, but it's the same thing if, you know, you went and put money in the wrong bank account. You know, it, there's no difference there, but that's really truly oversimplifying the space in a nutshell. Now, getting connected to these projects, they're all different, um, especially these ROI dApps, but really they just all come down to the same thing is you're just not logging into www, putting in a password, putting in a um, uh, uh, any of that stuff, you're connecting via the web. So you're connecting via the web excuse me, by Web3, which is another layer above the internet. So hopefully that helped a little. Um, but whenever, you know, you're interested in anything that we're doing, I would say you can rely on the Telegram channel with the admins, um, or if you can get an appointment with me, um, which I'm taking off for the summer. Folks, as you know, I'm not doing any one-on-ones for the summer. I'll be off for a couple months. Um, so the admins will be the easiest way to be able to, to get that assistance or jump on one of these calls. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. And you're taking off as of when? My schedules are, you can't even book another uh, calendar schedule. I'm leaving on the first to go take some time off with family. I mean, I'll still be hanging around the DeFi space, but I'm not doing any more appointments. I'll do my Thursday night Zooms and I'll be trading during the week, but yeah, I'm not doing no DeFi counsel consultations or any of the stuff that I've done for like 60 hours a week for like six months. So take a little time off. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions, folks? Okay. Hey, Terrence. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, with um, Bitforge, you mentioned that you have multiple wallets. Yes. On there. Yes. And it's perfectly fine. Okay, great. So that's on one sign in, you just created multiple wallets. Yeah. So in my MetaMask, I have 80 wallets in my MetaMask. So once I log into MetaMask, I got to count one, two, three, four, but it's all from the same login. And then so every time I get in a new ROI DAP, then I got a new MetaMask from my MetaMask wallet, I got a new connection. And then so like with my ARC, I got 17, well, 14 wallets with ARC, but they all have their 
each own individual wallet inside of my MetaMask. And 99% of these ROI dApps, they don't care if you have, you know, multiple, you know, ROIs. I mean, multiple wallets is a ROI dApp, you know, it's, it's anonymous essentially, you know, so they have no problem with that. Cool. Thank you. Any other questions on ROI dApps before we go any further? Hi, Terrence. Hi. Uh, how are you doing? Pretty good. How about you? Good. Uh, for Bitforge, does it auto compound? I don't know if I missed that. Nope. You have to make a decision to withdraw or compound every day. Okay. Okay. Yep. That was my... And what was the, um, and that was a daily ROI? Um, yes, yeah, a daily ROI lockup period is 25 days from 1.8 to 2.8% a day. And then somebody asked right. in the chat, is, is, is one wallet enough for MetaMask? Um, I like to keep all my wallets separate myself personally but that's just the type of guy i am i like separate eins i like set i just like stuff organized now i'm gonna tell you why that thinking was great for a reason there was a, a project called harvest keeper maybe some of you folks remember harvest keeper but harvest keeper it actually wind up when it rug pulled it harvested the tokens that were in your wallet <laughs> so it literally harvested what was in your wallet. And so just in case any of these things have some type of software or I press a wrong button, I keep every single ROI dap, every single wallet separate, period, just in case there's any issues. And then in that case, that was good because if I had my ARC hooked up, I got all these different ROI apps sitting there. I got this, you know, money sitting there in that app because everything's connected there. Ain't no telling what Harvest Keeper could have took from me at that point. So um, I do like to keep it all separate. Good question. Very good question. Okay. Any other questions before we jump into, um, well, I gave you new. I gave you Binance Wealth Matrix, Bitforge, and Solar Road. Those are on the newer side. I am also want to show you ETF pool real quick. Um, it came back up. It had went down. I had actually was very excited about it. And then it was only up for 48 hours. And with it being up for 48 hours, I mean, it was new. I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought that, you know, maybe here today, gone today, gone here today and gone tomorrow. Um, but it, it's still here. So I'm going to do an overview on this right here. And then I'm going to turn off the recording after that maybe and we get into these private projects because y'all been good we've been flowing through today i love it okay so this is etf pool um i was excited about this before it launched um and i'm actually working with their marketing team on this and so working with the marketing team really just means that i have direct contact with somebody that's in the program uh, to keep me up to date on everything. I know a face behind the program, uh, Dr. Christian, um, another uh, brother, and he's uh, familiar with a lot of projects around the space, a lot of experience. And he's essentially the face of this business, right? Um, and also the marketing guy. So I'm working directly with them in regards to this project. So what is it? It's AI powered ETF and cryptocurrency platform. Now, this is not an ROI dApp. You can log in like people like, get used to it. And what it is, is this ETF AI software. Now, ETF pool is an automated, actively managed artificial intelligence trading bot designed by our skilled experts in emerging blockchain technology that invests in trades up to 85% of the net assets to provide capital growth through Manic's exposure to various cryptocurrency futures contracts and stocks of companies engaged in developing and using blockchain technologies. Their investments are aimed at giving investors direct, indirect crypto exposure rather than investing directly in cryptocurrencies. For new investors looking to explore cryptocurrencies, the barriers to entry can be daunting. The technical know-how required for self-custody and being your own bank isn't for everyone. 
A way around this is via exchange traded funds or ETFs that track crypto assets. These ETFs can potentially provide greater transparency and returns compared with regular crypto. Exchange traded funds are efficient and low cost ways of investing in shares. Other assets then have become, uh, excuse me, one of the world's most popular ways to invest. ETFs are managed funds that trade on exchanges just like shares. However, while share represents an investment in one company, ETFs enable you to invest in many companies or assets in one trade, saving you time and money. So this is this is essentially what it is. You're investing in this. And I'm not going to get into all of the hows and who's, um, but let me go ahead and log into my back office here, into my account, so I can show you here what you're seeing. One second here. Let me get my Google two-factor authentication up and get logged in here. Okay, perfect. All right, let me get to screen share here. All right, boom. So here we go. We're inside of the account. Now, um, they have a decent website, as you know, folks. It, it, it's not a bad website. Um, they make it nice and easy. It's laid out and it's plain and it's clear cut. And I like stuff like that. And now funding is, is very simple, right? You get started. You come over here and make a deposit. Now, you make a deposit and then you choose. And then, folks, you can see right here, um, I did 10000 all right? So 10000 that I put in this. But like I said, I'm working with the marketing team. It's a little different. I'm not flying 10 k and brand new projects out the gate. But, folks, they got three plans. The first plan, folks, is 0.8 to 1.1% per day. And then the dividends are on working days, five days a week. Then you have the compounding pool, which is 4.75% weekly. And it's a weekly distribution. And then, folks, they just came out with the daily compound and flexi, which is 0.95% daily. Now, folks, these first two plans, you can get started with just $99, $99. This daily compounding flexi plan is uh, $9.99. Now, folks, you can see that I have over here in active pools, you can see that I can top up here or top up here. And then so what I've basically been doing is I did 5,000 each one. I mean, excuse me, 5,000 twice, 5,000 here, 5,000 here. And that's basically what I'm earning. And then, folks, you can also see over here, um, let me see, AI pool. Let me admit. Uh, let me see here. I, I ain't been in here. It's been down a few days. But I do like what they're offering overall as a package. Um, the rates seem to be sustainable. And I'm, I'm okay with that. So that's ETF pool, a uh, brand new just launched. So put that in the new category. Um, and I'm going to jump into a couple other things, but, and then we can open up for questions again. Let me show you also, let me show you this. Let me grab my, uh, my, my device real quick. Give me one brief second. Let me get one brief second. Okay, yeah, I had to grab my other device real quickly. But while 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 this is firing up, I'll show you something else in the meanwhile. But let me get this fired up here so I can show you. Um, but I'm gonna show you a couple other things here. This is ETF pool. Um, I'm gonna get into CMB, which is coin market bull. Let me get logged into my account here one second.
and I'm getting logged in right now as we speak. And this is the bull. Okay, let me share my screen again here. All right, so Coin Market Bull, um, folks, I don't want you to sleep on Coin Market Bull because Coin Market Bull, I've been in it since January, and don't hold me on it, but I think it's been going for a couple months before January. So I think it's back in like November. Don't hold me on it. I've been in it since January, so that much it is now. Now, this project is pumping. Now, it pays 1.2 to 1.8% per day. And that's the beautiful thing about it. It pays 1.2 to 1.8% every single day. Now, what it does here is this project, it's based on a robot that performs short selling and also uh, calls as well, calls or puts. And it does it on the Binance Smart Chain. Now, folks, the thing that I really like about the project is not only what it pays, but it's been paying, folks, right? And as you can see, my total earnings, uh, 16000 but that's because I'm a gold level ranked member. I have 171 people that directly said, hey, let me use your link. Can I sign up and rock with you? Now, folks, the biggest thing about this project that I don't like is the customer service. It's the customer service. The customer service sucks. It's hard to get in contact with them and takes them forever to respond. So you pray you don't have an issue. I'm just being honest. But besides that, this thing is cranking and it's paying. And then so you can see just from my daily profit, not my re network earnings, but I ROI'd out of it. I had 2,600 in it and I had 3,000 here. And I shoot, I got 700 sitting in my wallet right now. And then with that 700, I can easily come over here and click reinvest if I want. And then I can just reinvest some or a portion of it, or I can go ahead and just come over here and withdraw it. But, you know, folks, I've already ROI'd out of it. And then uh, I have a, 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 a friend of mine that opened up another wallet. And so we just want to make sure that we get all the way out. So I'm going to go ahead and put in that. I'm going to put in my transfer code and I'm going to just go ahead and withdraw this money. Now it gets to you within 24 hours. Oh, I messed up here. It gets to you within 24 hours. And as you can see by how much I've already withdrawn that this thing is paying. Now, some may say, well, you've been in it for this long. How long is it going to last? I don't know. But when you get in things, you already got a pending withdrawal happening. So you already got one going. So once that pending withdrawal goes through, I'll be able to go get the rest of the money out. And then whenever you want to see that, you can scroll down here right to the front of the page. And you see, I got one pending withdrawal right here for 437. So as soon as that comes through, I'll go get the rest of that money out. But this project's been pumping and paying. And it's hard to turn down paying and pumping project when we're all trying to be diversified in this space. All right. So let me stop sharing on this. And then folks, I'm gonna share my screen real quick. Let me get logged in here. I'm gonna share this project. This is like a, we didn't did a 10 project review and it's only been an hour. You ever been on an overview and they talk about one project for an hour and a half <laughs> every week? I used to, I've been on things like that and, and I think it's a complete waste of time. I got better things to do with my money and time. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Um, boom. Okay, cool. So what I'm doing now, right, I'm going to go ahead and then share my screen from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to share the screen. We're going to start right now. Boom. And then so what you're seeing right now is my other device. And I want to bring up Fintosh. Now, the reason I'm bringing up Fintosh, it's dope, ain't it? It's got sound to it, too, when you got it. The reason I'm bringing up Fintosh is because I decided to go heavier in Fintosh. Now, I was the first 
YouTuber in the U.S. to get into Fintosh. Now, that doesn't mean anything. I didn't get no bells or rewards or whistles, but I've been looking at this thing for a while, right? And then when I first got in, you know, a few months, a couple months ago, at least now, I dumped a couple grand in it. Now, I've been in it for a couple months, so I got my couple grand out. Now, Fintosh is very simple, folks. It's a lending and borrowing protocol. Now, what they do is they take your money, they lend it out, then they give you money back. Now, folks, you see all this stuff up here. They're in the news. They got their own coin. It's been pumping. And then I got to tell you how much it pays. It pays one to one and a half percent per day. And when you think about that, that's great. And folks, they only have short seven day contracts. And so, you know, I love it when my money's not locked up forever. So you literally can dump in what you want. And then it's only locked up for seven days. And then you're making 1% every single day. Now, Fintosh is a little bit doper than most of these platforms. It's really huge in Europe. It's starting to blow across the United States. And then, folks, they actually have their own decentralized exchange. So you know how you have a MetaMask or you have a Trust Wallet or you have whatever decentralized exchange you're using. They have their own decentralized exchange. So when you download the app, when you download using my link, you're downloading their DEX. And then from their DEX is the way that you get everything connected. You see, you can transfer, receive, swap, and buy coins. Same thing, different wallet, who cares? Now, it's simply, you can convert cross-chain and everything. It's actually pretty dope, right? Now, once you get your assets over here, you simply would come into the lending protocol. So... I just came over and I pressed Lindy. And then folks, you would come over here and let's say the minimum is 100. You would put in 100 and you can choose from the Binance Smart Chain, the Tron Chain or the Ethereum Chain. They have multiple different assets. You've seen it in the wallet, but I like using the Binance Chain or the Tron Chain, right? You would simply put in at least 100, click grab it now. This little thing will start spinning. And then you would get yourself right into a contract just that easy. Now, folks, you can see I got some contracts down here and I'm going to get into how much I have invested in it and why. Now, folks, you can come over here and look and see the profit that's going on. You can see the details of the profit very easily from the profit page. This breaks down the profit and how you made it by coin. Then look, folks. I can come over here and look at my own investment income. I've made $2,400 off of my own investment, right? And I got $1,654 sitting here, not extracted. And then folks, also my team, I got a few people on my team. My team has the pot. I mean, I made $820 from what my team and commissions over the last couple of months and that's not a whole lot when you put in perspective, like C12, I'm doing racks a day, right? But $820, I'm thankful for that 820, right? Now look, then you can see that I have some stuff in the lending aggregate pool. Now, what is that? That's how you get 1.5% a day. So what I'm doing is just let my profits make me more money. So instead of me taking my 1% every day, I'm locking it up in a campaign that pays out a percentage and a half every day. And then you can see my returns over here, cumulative returns right here. And then so I'm making one and a half percent a day. Now folks, here it is, right? You can see right here, I put 30K in this thing. You see that $30,000 investment? How many projects am I opening up showing you I, I put 30K in it, right? I put 30K in here. Pays 1% a day. Then I turn that over and then let it go and invest in the thing. It's paying 1.5% seven days a week. Pretty dope. And then, folks, if I ever want to get out the contract, I just get out. So I got 30 k invested. You see my team has 28.7. So I'm my team, right? And then my up team, my, I, my, up, my up line gets paid by me. And then my down line gets paid by me. They got some weird, not weird, but... Um, different referral system, which I'm not about to get into all the referral system. You can look it up if you're a team builder. But then you can also see that I'm making 300 a day, a day, seven days a week. 
Fintosh, let's go. Short seven day projects. And so I voted up on Fintosh. That's where I'm at. And then you can get into looking at their tokens and their coins and the price of their FTH and all of that different stuff. I have no desire to get into and buy the token at that price. And they're locked up for some time now. But that's Fintosh. I just wanted to let you guys know that I took Fintosh another step a little more serious and took it up a notch. All right. So that's Fintosh. I'm going to show you all a couple more projects and we're going to go ahead and open up for questions on what we did tonight. Let me stop my screen share here on this. Um, I forget how. OK, here we go. Stop share. OK, perfect. All right. So we just looked at Fintosh. Um, let me jump over here and I am going to show y'all. What time is it? 815. Yeah, let me show y'all. I'm going to show y'all. We got to see Vortic real quick here. We're going to take a look at Vortic. And then we're going to get into the private projects, OK? I'm going to show y'all Vortic. Then I'm going to turn off the recorder and show y'all the private project so that we can look at the private projects. And let me do this. It is coming up right now. Okay, maybe it's not coming up right now. Let me see here. Let me see if I can get Vortic pulled up. All right, you know what? Here we go. Is it moving? Okay. Cloudflare slows a lot of these sites down, obviously, as we know. And I'm in Vortic. Okay, I was in Vortic earlier. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and share my screen. All right, so you're seeing my screen on Vortic. All right, so Vortic is nice and simple, folks. They got four plans, right? The guy is actually doing trading. His name is Jensen Robles. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you, I've been in Vortic since October. And I'm going to say that Vortic is in my top projects in the space. And I'm going to say it's number one for PAM-type deposit accounts. So I'm in a number of different varieties of different things. But for this type of deposit account, Vortic is at the number one top of that list. Now, it's not just because I've been in it since October and that it hasn't missed the payout at all. But it's the fact that I've got a chance to speak with Jensen Robles countless times. I have people on my team that have flew out to Turkey to meet the man directly. He's invited me out there now. With these four simple plans, you get 4% a week. Your capital's locked up for 46 weeks, but I'm okay with them locking it because you still get the 4% a week. Now, the next plan is 5% a week. It's only locked for 40 weeks. The next plan is 6% a week, which I have a ton of people jumping in this plan, getting 6% a week, and it's locked for 36 weeks. Then, folks, the compounding plan, it pays 9%, is locked up 32 weeks. Now, the reason I don't like the compounding is because it's all locked up for 32 weeks. In these plans, at least you can withdraw weekly, but if you don't care, you wanna set it, forget it, and come back in, 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 in 32 weeks, then this is a great plan because you're gonna make 9% every single week. Now, folks, this is what sets Vortic apart from the rest. No, it's not the highest paying platform that I'm in. So you might wonder, how could it even be number one in any category? Well, it checks off a whole bunch of other boxes that 99% of projects do not check off. Now, this particular project actually shows the trades. It shows the wins and the losses. You can go and check this stuff on the blockchain to go see that these are the actual prices at that point in time. And it shows the date. So my man, Jensen, he actually has traders. He actually has robots. 
He's traded for royalty. He's really, truly getting it. And then if you're a team builder, folks, there's no other project to build teams better with. You're looking for something because, uh, 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 what you call it, uh, Novatech ain't the team building platform no more. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is it right here. This thing pays you down, folks, 15 levels, 10% on the first, all the way down 15 levels. That's dope. And then you get residual income. So I get 10% of whatever you make on a day-to-day -day basis if you're my front line. Then 2%, I mean, 5% on the second line, 3% on the third and 4%, I mean, 3% on the fourth level. And that can pay you down 15 levels. And then, folks, as you can see over here on my dashboard, you see it's 4,500 sitting there. Now, they pay out once a week, and then I'll be able to take this out on Monday. There will be a little more money. I'll submit it over the weekend, and it'll be on the way. But, folks, I'll be a liar to tell you that Vortic, honestly, for deposit type, uh, almost PAM account, uh, you know, on the not so and, and I'm a, everything's risky, but it's really one of my favorite projects out here in the space. It's proven it to me. It's got the longevity. I'm moving up in rank. No problems with payments. Vortic is real. Jensen is real. Um, I think if you haven't taken a look at Vortic, it's about time to take a look at Vortic. And now I have five thousand in my account. So if you want to know what I have, I have five thousand in mine, and my wife has five thousand in hers. So we're invested ten thousand as a family in Vortic. All right. So that's Vortic United. That was the last one I was going to show you on there. Let me go ahead and stop the share. Now, any questions about um, Vortic, ETF pool, or Fintosh before we get into the private projects? Vortic, Fintosh. Vortic, Fintosh, or ETF pool. LaRock, let's go. What's up, Terrence? I don't hey. have a question. I'm, I'm in your team on Vortic as well. But okay. I got, I think I've got like eight or nine people on here tonight. They were hoping C12 was, because I, I thought that was your favorite. But um, <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's different. C12 is in a whole different class. And I, like I said, that okay. category of that type thing. Is is that's what it is? Because Arc is my favorite ROI DAP. I got I got different favorites in different categories. Now C twelve okay. is definitely my favorite hype. <laughs> you know that's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite hype. Now if you got people on that want to see C twelve, I know most people never have a problem doing C twelve. I'll be happy to do C twelve before we get into um, the private projects. Okay, just briefly, yeah. Thank sure. you. You're welcome. Anytime. Uh, Armigus, you got something, sir? Yeah. How long does the aggregate in Fintosh tie up your money? Until you stop it. So you can stop it at any time. Okay. So you just set it in the pool. Uh, now, does that contribute to the maximum amount you can have invested in Fintosh overall? I don't know if it's a maximum amount. It may be, but I don't know if it's a maximum amount. I've seen somebody did a million dollars in it. So I don't know. Because, I mean, I know that that million is the rate maximum on the regular, but I don't know if the aggregate pool shares that limit or mm -hmm. not. That's something you may want to look at. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't know anybody with that type of money that hollered at me yet. <laughs> you know, ain't nobody came and hollered at me with them type of dollars. I I, I personally invested more than my team's invested, so you know, we dealing with little dollars right now. But hey, if you're ready to go, Armageddon, let me know. I'll do the research right now. I actually get off right now this call <laughs> and find out if you got that meal ticket ready to go. <laughs> Sheila Reed. What's going on, Brother Terrence? Uh, thanks again for doing this. It's, it's totally awesome. Hey, listen, Um, I don't know anyone in Vortex, so if you could put, would you mind putting your link out there? Sure. Um, so that I can grab that, that would be appreciative. And I think sure. there's a, another question of a minimum investment. Um, is the cap and if the capital is it is it returned to you or not? Good questions. The minimal investment for the first plan is fifty dollars, and then uh -huh. the next plan is uh twenty five hundred, then it's five thousand. Uh, excuse me, ten thousand, then five thousand. So 
Um, very good question. Let me put this link in the video down here. Um, hold on one second. And then as far as the capital return, that's a great question I did not cover. Um, you get 80% of it back at the end of the term. So that's where he takes his performance fees, which is 20%, uh, but it just comes off of your initial seed capital at the end. Yep. Any other questions? Minimum investment, 50. Capital is returned, 20% of it. Vortic link is in the chat now, folks. Yeah, Fintoshin, Solar Road, two different things, about the same pay, but the Solar Road side token is, 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 is powerful. Yep, ETF pool is five days a week, but let's go ahead and get to C12. All right. So let me pull up C12. I promise I wouldn't even do C12 as often as you guys. You guys are C12 uh, fanatics. So here it's we go. That awesome, Brother Terrence. Is that awesome? <laughs> <laughs> it, it is rocking. It is rocking. Okay, so C12. It is my favorite high-paying platform in the space. It is no doubt. Now, look, folks. This project, you can earn 12% daily for 12 business days. And I mean it, 12% every day. Now, don't get on here asking me, do you get your money back at the end of the contract? No, you got 12% paid to you every day. Now, folks, that works out to be about 3.5%, 3.6% daily. It's not another project in this space that has been going for as long as C12 paying out those type of dollars. Now, folks, you may wonder how long has it been going? It's been going for 189 days. And then, folks, you can see that you won't be the first nor the last. There's 33,000 users. And then you can see that they've deposited over $27 million in funds to date. Give it a clap up for C12. That's super powerful. Now, folks, what does this 12% a day mean to you? That means that you get 144% in less than three weeks. So that means you get 100% of your capital back with just 44% profit, but it's in two weeks and two days. And then folks, they have rapid and profitable investment plan, strong DDOS shield, accessible firewalls, affiliate opportunities, and passive income. Folks, very easy to get started. They want these few pieces of information from you. They need your name. They need your email. They need the company that you're from. I mean, the country that you're from or that you want to put. And you don't have to use your real names. You can use fake names, whatever it is that you really actually really want to use, because this is pretty much anonymous at that point, right? And then, folks, you do need to set up your security password, a four-digit PIN. Then they ask you for payout wallets. How, where do you want me to send your money? Now, folks, if you're not referring anyone or building a team, which I say you should build a team in this because it only takes $12 to get started. And then, folks, look, you choose what wallet you want them to pay you out to. Now, if you are not referring anybody, you only put, need to put in one address because if you get started with Bitcoin, they're going to pay you in Bitcoin. You get started with USDT. TRC20, they're going to pay you in TRC20. You get started with Tron, they're going to pay you in Tron. Now, folks, they have an incorporation here in Hong Kong. You can come and see their certificate of incorporation, articles of association, and the registration ordinance. Now, folks, haven't told you much about them, but the main activity of Carnelian 12 is trading digital assets to achieve the best results. Their traders perform short positions, performing with automated tools and powerful compounding algorithms that can provide rapid profit within seconds. Artificial intelligence trading systems and human strategies are jointly used in C12 high-frequency trading. The NFTs, which have given new life to cryptocurrencies by combining art, value, collection, and digital technology have also triggered smart upgrades in your yielding mechanism. Such proprietary tools help us to stay on top of the online investment market thus putting C12 at the forefront of the industry. Now, the idea behind C12 was crafting a plan to share unprecedented level of return at the same time to keep the platform financially stable. A rapid 12% daily 
with the principal reduces the risk to a minimum of eight days. And so folks, you know, I like to talk about risk management, how long is it locked up, all of this. But here, literally in eight days, you got your principal back, you got your seed capital. And so after that, you're playing with house money. And so like I tell folks, you know, nothing in this space lasts forever. And this has been doing phenomenal for 190 days. That's powerful, right? But if you've been in C12 for 12 business days and you're not playing with house capital, you're not playing the game right. You're just not playing the game right. Like if you've been in 12 business days and haven't taken your initial capital back yet, and then if something were to happen is not here tomorrow, then you're the one wrong. You know, you're going to be sitting with your lip poked out crying, but I'm trying to tell you with every single project, if you do that, you can experience some success. Now, folks, you don't know how much it's going to pay you. You can come over here and play with this. Let's just say if you put in $100, $100 would give you $12 a day for 12 business days. No weekends, Monday through Friday. And then at the end of that 12 days, you would have made 44 extra dollars. You can look at this on any scale, 500. You can look on this at 30,000. There's people dropping 30 racks in here, getting 3,600 a day. Now, folks, since we decided to get into C12, I need to tell you the referral program's phenomenal. It pays 5% on the first level, 2% on the second level, and then 1% on the third level, right? And then if you are a team builder, then once you get over 100,000 in your downline, and then folks, at that point, you get paid 7% on your top level, 2% on your second level, and 1%. Once you make it 100K, you can put in for that. And then if you really go nuts, then you can get to the 12 tier intercontinental status upon request. Now, folks, I've made all the levels. As you can see over here, this guy, boss, he's on my team. He's put in 166,000. And then you can see that 140,000 is still active. Then you see this person here in uh, South Africa, Johan Bashaw 14. He just came in in April. He's crushing it and put in 128,000. And then Cedric Harris is also on my team, crushing it. Bless me, meow. Um, you look down through here, people are smacking dollars in here, right? And then revenue paid. I'm that guy. You know, I am that guy. $118,000 since January of January 21, literally before months tomorrow, 118,000 this project paid me. No projects paid me more. I love C12. Man, you see this guy Johan's on me, but he's dumping cash in. Mine are coming from referrals, full disclosure, right? Now he's dumping cash in, but he sur surpassed me at some point. But now, folks, I deserve to get paid. I put $4 million on the books. $4 million. It's the biggest team I've ever built. And it's just in four months. Can't even believe it. So very thankful, right? Shout out to Trader Joe, the other, another ITC. She's killing it. About to hit that million-dollar marker. Also, Dream Captain, the only other ITCs. We're the only three ITCs in the company. Shout out to Bless25. Shout out to Crypto Muscle. Y'all know Crypto Muscle on YouTube, also in the private group. Thank you, sir. And then Star One, and then Stefan and Instant Monitor. And then you can see right here, this top referral paid all time, 2,500. That was me. The dude jumped in 50K. And then <laughs> largest deposit in the last 24 hours was 32,000. You can put 60,000 per deposit. And then you can also take your accounts up to 200K. Now, let me go ahead and get logged into my account real quick here so I can show you a couple little things here. Let me get logged into my account here. Let me get logged in. Okay, let me go ahead and share my screen here. Okay, 
C12 is dope, folks. And then also, just in case you didn't know, you can come down and turn your screen from dark to light. So if you rather look at it on the light side, I don't know how many of you knew that or not. Maybe you knew it. Maybe you played with all the buttons on C12, but I just stumbled across it the other day. Um, but I do like the way it looks when it's dark better. So I'm going to change it back to dark. Now, folks, you can see right here that C12 has been pumping. And then when I made it to the international status, intercontinental status, they opened up 12 downlines for me. So when you look in your back office, you see one, two, three, right? But I got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I'm getting paid down 12 levels. Now, don't get me wrong. Levels, uh, these levels down here are less, way less, but they add up. And I gave up from 7% to 5% to open up the other levels because I was seven here as the representative. But when I went down to uh, ITC, I gave up two points on my first levels to gain points for these other levels. But my team two is killing it. Team two, shout out. Almost a thousand people, team two. I got 775 direct that actually came on direct with me. Team three is killing it. Team four and team five is starting to kill it. This was like three or 400. They're almost at a thousand between the two. And I got people all the way down on that team, right? Folks, you can see awards credited. The story on the front doesn't quite tell it all. You can see right here, I'm making 3,700 a day. Oh my goodness. Now, the only reason though, it's so hard to get out of here because you can only, every withdrawal takes four business days for the size of my withdrawals. So, folks, when you come over here and you see what's pending, you're going to be like, oh, my gosh. And then let me pull up my statistics. And then you can see next week I got about 30,000 coming. So this thing is pumping so crazy. I'm so thankful. I don't even know what's going on. But honestly, I'm going to just keep pulling down and getting the money. And then now, folks, in this account, I do have some money invested. You can see I got $9,000 actively invested. I have some things on reinvestment. I think I might be able to reinvest a little bit right now. So I'm going to go over here and click this reinvest button. So I can reinvest a little bit right now. But all I reinvest in here is just my trine. So I'm sending my trine back up. They put this little reinvest button in here. But, you know, ultimately, it just doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense for me personally to put a whole lot of money in a platform that's paying me a couple thousand dollars a day. Now, I'm going to tell you like this, and maybe in like nobody told me when like Amza Doge was around and I was getting it in Amza Doge real crazy that like I shouldn't be putting a whole bunch of money up in there myself. And then so maybe it's going to take me to tell you because maybe you're that team builder. Maybe you're that person that starts to finally get to you know, a few hundred a day, you know, thousand a day, whatever that number is, how much money do you need to personally invest at that point? Because the goal of all these platforms is to make money. And if you ain't going to share it, fine, don't share it. I don't care. I'm getting money for four months, whether you share it or not. And that's the way it should be. All right. So um, let's open up for questions on C12. And then um, I'm going to cut the recording and then get into the private well, we, got, we ain't got that much time, honestly. Let's just open up. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. We have to catch the private ones next week. We will do the private ones next week. But let's just open up for full questions on anything we covered, anything we missed. But I'm not even going to crack the private ones today. I'm sorry, y'all. Any questions? Yes, I do. I have my okay, go, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Carl. No problem. <clears throat> it's what is the requirements to become an ITC? There's really they're vague. So let me let me be honest with you, Carl. I was asking every month. So like every 30 days, I was like, can I be ITC? Can I be ITC? And it's like, no, we need to see more. And I'm like, dang, what more do you want to see? Like I'm feel like I'm killing it, you know, but they kept wanting to see more. Um, but what they want to do really ultimately is see, you know, people doing more things community wise um, and, you know, big, you know, just 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 more than just getting money and sharing a referral link, you know, and I know it still comes down to that, but there's still more to it. 
Um, rather that is really like building a team in another nation. You know, they want people on different continents doing it. That's why it's intercontinental. Um, even though they got two in the U.S., U.S. is huge. There's one in Africa. So they're looking for people to build uh, C-12 communities across the world. And and I guess if, you know, you kind of fit into that category, they start looking at it and like, OK, yeah, then we can get this done. But I don't know how many more ITCs they're actually going to do. Um, I heard through the grapevine and it wasn't from them. So this is kind of like secondhand. And I didn't ask them because I'm already ITC. But I heard that, you know, they're not going to just do a whole bunch of ITCs. People really going to have to uh, uh, meet the requirements and just realize I had over 3 million in volume before they made me ITC. <laughs> you know, now I see there's a couple other ITCs with not that quite high a volume, um, but I think they're going to set the bar a little bit higher for ITCs going forward. So, Got you. And and also a correction with the rep status, you have to have not only 100 grand, but also 20 on your front line. 20 on your front line. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, so I've been years. requesting it. I've been, because I'm under you and I have, I'm approaching hundred thousand in volume and um Beautiful. and he he wouldn't give it to me he told me i had to do more he told me make 20 on your front line and i was like okay oh you don't so, have 20 on your front line oh you have some monsters then you just have monsters yeah i do yeah I, okay. I do yeah okay. um i have 15 on my front line but when okay. i ask that is i have 11 so i'm i'm gonna close in and get it though yeah, you just need to sponsor a few people for 12 bucks and be there. <laughs> it's done I, deal. That's what I did. And that's what I did today. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, yeah, good. Very, very, very good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Good stuff. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye -bye. How you doing? All right, pretty good. How you doing, sir? I'm fine. I have a question. I'm planning to go on vacation on June, uh -huh. but did they let you, when you go on vacation, to, to invest? Can you use that? Yeah. Mm. You said, are you going to be able to invest where? I'm sorry. In what, C12? No, I'm planning to go on vacation to Africa. Okay. So with C12, when I get there, can I use my my IP address or in my house to keep? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's not going to do anything weird when you go there. Now, if you go there, you plan to start setting people up while you're there. Um, then I would maybe just put out a little note that, hey, I'm in Africa, I'm building out Africa. So you see some same IP address stuff. It's just me over here building. But, you know, yeah, I, already I, I, would... one in, I already set up one in Africa. One of my friends is part of the yes, C12 right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Uh -huh. um, Army, guess your hand is still up, sir. Do you have something? And Carl, your hand is still up if you have something else. Uh, no, I just put I put it up for the earlier question on Fintosh because I was curious about that. Oh, OK. Hey, also, Armagus, please, can you email me the spreadsheet, man? Let me I'm going to text you. You got my email and stuff, don't you? Uh, I don't know about the email. I um, but you can uh, uh you can text me your, I think I have your email on uh, my Skype. Let me double hey, check. Here, I got your number. I'm just about to text you right now. I'm about to just text you right yep. now. Yep. Just, just send me the email address. Should not be a problem. And I have yeah, made variants. I have made what? a few variants, not only for C12, but also for, um, well, the other two clones, uh, one of which is still alive, last time I've heard. And maybe when we get into the private projects next week, uh, if it's still alive, or maybe you'll report whether it's alive or dead at that point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I just I text you and I'm emailing you. Please send Flywell. This is Terrence Powell. So, you got it. I just sent them both to you. And then, yep, I had yep. like... Four people reach out to me this week for it. So I've been meaning to get with you all week too. Yeah, yep. Chance, I would like to have a copy of that too. Okay. Yep. If, 
Yes, I would yep. like it too. Thank you. Hey, hey, so, so can I just give them your email address so they can request it from you, or do you want me to have it, or how do you want it to work, David? Uh, probably I will send it to you, and you can CC it to everyone who's interested. That might be the fastest way to just get things done. Easy enough. Easy enough. I appreciate it. So, so yeah, okay. with that, I'll probably – I'll have one with the board with the projects, uh, at least those that – I, I have some knowledge of um, and and the others with uh, the strategies uh, basically for uh, primarily for C12. I may want to adjust it a little. Uh, I made some changes uh, with the one for uh, one of the new ones so I could incorporate what happens if I make a withdrawal in the middle and just and and run with the rest. So uh, that might be, that's something I'm probably going to want to do with C12 as, uh, as well. So uh, mm -hmm. might need a little bit of work to do, but not metric tons. But I, I did uh, find that that was a, a valuable thing to test. So, okay. Yeah, well, good. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, so anybody that wants a spreadsheet from me, um, my email address is going in here. I know a, a few of you have already emailed me for it. Um, I didn't have it, but I'm putting my email address in the chat right now. Um, and then so you can just get with me and I'll get that over to you so that you can have that. Um, but unless there's any further questions, I'm going to wrap it up. We're going to get out of here. But next week will be private projects. Uh, we'll get to it very first. I'll cover those private projects and you guys have pretty much seen my whole catalog of paying stuff right now. Um, ain't no telling what we'll look at next week, but um, but we will get into the private projects for sure. Okay. Hey, Mr. Terrence. Yes. Just before you leave, God bless you all. Congratulations, man. You're killing it. Um, oh, bless you, is sir. There any, is there any way possible um, that I could get that link for the uh, anonymous calls during the week? I don't, I didn't, honestly, I've never been on it. I don't even personally have it. Anybody got the anonymous link call that they can post it, post in the chat? Anybody in A9 that can post the link in the chat to the calls? I, mean, I haven't been on them. I, I, I just don't have personal time to get on it. I can get with right. my upline and get it. Um, but ultimately, mm -hmm. I'm sure somebody on here maybe has it. Or are you in their group or Telegram? Uh, no, not yet. I was able to get on the first call the first time you mentioned it that Sunday. Um, oh, so I sent you this before then. Yeah, I think you had posted it a while back, but uh, okay. after that, yeah. I don't, I don't recall them ever. Um, I, I wasn't able to get on anymore. I don't know okay. if they did them or not, but I got yeah, on so the you, first Sunday. You, you've been on more than I have. <laughs> I made one. I tried again, <laughs> but they, I don't think they did it that week. So yeah, I'm not yeah, I'm not sure of the schedule. You have to look into their telegram and stuff and see exactly what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I've never been on one. I can't, I just don't have time to get on everybody's calls, to be honest with you. Just I just don't have time. So that. I completely right. miss it. Okay, then I'll just okay. to the next week. All right, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Okay. Uh Darwin uh, yeah. Latiker. Yes. Um for some reason I can't copy. Out of your back, out of the uh, the chat. Whenever I try to copy, it doesn't bring up the copy symbol. Okay, what what is it that I, you need specifically? I was trying to copy your email address. My email address. You want to just write it down? Uh, sure. Um, let me get. Well, it, well, you something. see my name. You see my name. It's my first name dot my last name at gmail dot com. So oh, if you okay, it's easier now. Yep, yeah, long as you spell my name right. Three E's and no A's. Terrence.pounds at gmail.com. Okay. And as far as that guy looking for the anonymous, mm -hmm. uh, they only have meetings on Wednesday now. And I okay. can put the address in, in uh, the chat. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate okay. it. Yeah. All right. Sure. No, Mickey forgot my S on my name is pounds, plural, P O U N D S. Like 10 pounds of ice. That's what I used to say when I was a telemarketer. <laughs> I'm so uh, yes, thankful. sir. Please post that in there so I can get that. Thank you. 
<laughs> Mr. Okay. Terrence, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we are waiting on this link in here. Does BMW have contact support? Um, they have Telegram support. Um, so uh, Kairos is Telegram support. It's on the bottom of their, which we call it, on the bottom of their website. Most, most of these projects and stuff on their website, they have their contact us and support page. Um, uh, um, let's see here. Um, I have somebody that private messaged me a question. And I'm going to just say that, you know, it's hard to do anything quick um, and nothing is guaranteed, um, you know, but most bang for your buck right now is C12. You know, I mean, no matter how you look around, no matter how you cut the pie, no matter what project you talking about, there's nothing like C12 that's paying right now. Um, will it be here six weeks from now? Will it be here six days? Will it be here six hours from now? Who knows? But most bang for your buck right now, hands down, leads to C12. Once you step down off the C12 ladder, um, you you got Binance Wealth Matrix now at 3% a day. You got, you know, Bitforge at 2% to up to 2.8. And these are projects I'm in. And there may be some other little quick stuff out there. I don't even, I don't count like those sponsored videos, like the new 12 by 12 or like none of that new sponsor stuff. That's, I don't even really expect it to be around. And I know some of you feel like, well, why are you in it? They paid me once again. And, and I bet you if they paid you what they paid me to do the video, you would do the video too. And I'm going to tell you, if you're in this risky space and they were offering you to pay you to do the video, I highly advise you to do the video. Um, and now I tell you to be honest, don't jump out there and act like, oh, I just ran across this. I love this. No, be honest. They paid you to do the video. You did it. And so, you know, um, just be careful there. All right. So here's the new Zoom sketch. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Did you see it? Yep. I see it. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah. Hey, so, yes. Yeah. This is Jay. Hey, so Jay. That, Jay from Philly. How you doing, brother? You know it. You know it. So, you know that, oh, that 12 by 12 on the what one about button? It? They spelled dashboard wrong. They spelled yeah, I mean, this... yeah. I know. I know. It's a clone. I know the deal. Yeah, this stuff, this stuff will not be. I mean, listen, if the stuff is around for 30 days, any of any sponsored video, if they're around for 30 days, I would be shocked. I would be I shocked. The, I, I did the 15 one and I'm almost ready to pull my C capital out. What that uh the uh, income 15? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. did yeah, I, I mean, did that one. Oh, and I did I did um brain bit too. Oh, did you? <laughs> Hey, listen. Hey, but listen. Like, listen, but people love these, though. You know, like, I, I mean, people like that gamble, though. They like that risk take. And that's another reason, like, I mean, all the other YouTubers are posting it and acting like they didn't get paid for it. At least I'm being honest and tell you I got paid for it, you know? Yeah. And so, well, yeah, but I mean. Most people, follow, most people follow your rule with um, taking your money out, of, you know, as soon as you. Like I figured, you if you double it, you take you what you took out. Now you at least can start where you're at, and you can still keep it moving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, and, and and honestly, you know, like income fifteen, they they prepaid for me to do five videos. So I figured that they would at least allow me to get through five videos, right? But that logic didn't mean anything. And I didn't come out and just tell everybody like, oh, they gave me five videos, so they should be around at least two days per video because who knows, somebody could have dropped, you know, a hundred grand in there and they're like, oh, this is enough. We don't need to wait for him to get done with his five videos. But I kind of thought like they might be around until, you know, I get done with my five videos. So I got one more video left. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I better hurry up then. Yeah, you're funny, Terrence. Yeah, get, get out, get out. I got, I got one more video left now. Now, rather they let me, now rather they say, okay, well, Terrence, we want you to do another four videos or something like that. I don't know, but you know, honestly, they they paid me for one up front, and then they said, okay, well, you know, I want more, and I said, well, pay me for four videos, so I know you'll be around for a while. And they wanted me to do them every day, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing a video every day. 
you know, <laughs> every other day, but I'm just trying to, you know, stretch them out and hopefully people can get their 10 day cycle in or at least get even. And, you know, maybe they will be around, but I don't trust none of this stuff anymore. I just don't trust none of it. I got a quick question. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Go right ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I got a quick question. I'm brand new in this space with okay. uh, C12. <clears throat> Okay. So uh, my name is uh, Miss Miss J uh, or Miss. Welcome Miss J. I just heard Welcome Miss J. J. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And I, I, I was the person I, I emailed you. Uh, no, I did Facebook. Uh, I asked you a question about two or three weeks ago, but because of my job, I travel a lot, so I was out on the road, and I see you had responded, but uh, I wasn't able to get back with you. But I seen it today. I was watching a video that you was going to be on Zoom. But anyway, what I wanted to ask about C twelve. So uh, I only put a small uh, amount in there, but uh, I seen you in a, uh, I, I don't know what the guy name was that that uh, you was telling him to go reinvest. So I'm just trying to get a little more information about that. So you, you told him to reinvest every day or, or, or redo it every day, something you were saying to him. So uh, I'm not familiar with it. I, I was I was wanting well, to get some information on it. Yeah, well, um, so it just depends on what your investment strategy is. So, you know, for me, you know, my investment strategy is no matter how much I put in, let me see how quickly I can get that back out. So if I yeah. start with, you know, 10,000, I want to see how fast can I get my 10,000 back. And then after that, we can play any game you want. You know, we it's can have play money. I'm saying yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and that that's it. That's where it is. And even if, you know, you coming in with C12, I don't know what you started with, how much, you know, what your goals are. But um, if you reinvested your profits every day, then what happens is um, you're making compound interest. And so then your interest starts making interest. So instead of you just having $12 in there, and not that you have $12, but you have $12 in there giving you $1.44 a day you're actually adding that dollar 44 to the 12 and it's 1344 and you add that dollar 44 you know to the 1344 which would be a little higher every day and if you do like that the numbers grow exponentially you can do you know 300% in a month 400% like crazy dollars if you're literally taking everything you get and sending it right back in every time you get it okay um, so what I make every day, I'm sorry, I, let me I get this one out of the way. What I make every day, you know, my um, whatever I make off of my uh, initial input, just go ahead and just push the re uh, reinvest right there next to it every day. Is yep. That what yep. If, if, if as long yeah. as, as, yep, as long as, as long as, you know, first of all, you don't mind that, you know, you didn't pull your seed capital out or you already pulled your seed capital out. Now, if you, if, oh, if you just. <laughs> You just started. OK, then some people's plan is, is I'm a compound for the first two weeks or I'm a compound for the first 30 days. That's totally up to you. But to really, really make it grow is to is to reinvest it as soon as you get it. And if it, if, if if you get to your reinvestments are over three hundred dollars per reinvestment, then you need to break it up into multiple reinvestments because you can have currently three reinvestments going pending at the same time, same way you can have three withdrawals pending at the same time. And anything withdraw or reinvest under $299.99, then you can get that in 24 hours, either reinvested or withdraw, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Gotcha. Huh? Okay. Perfect. Uh one thing to keep in mind, I think mm -hmm. that because the minimum deposit is $12, you need to put in enough where the payment is $12 or more. Oh, there it is. That's right. Thank you, Armigus. So I appreciate that. That means that your initial investment, if you're going to have something that allows that, which is basically self-feeding, that's called starting up the flywheel, that's $100 for a C12. Now I did yes, this sir. for both revenue 13, which is now defunct and for income 15. Um, uh, and uh, with income 15, it's actually 134 because your, your initial and deposit minimum is $20. So um, so those, uh, if we get into the private videos, uh, uh, we can go into more in depth on that if you like. 
Hey, Terrence. Yes. Terrence, Jazz here. Just a quick question about the multiple wallets you mentioned. If we yes. make multiple wallets under the MetaMask and we want to get into like these questionable or new projects, if they rug or they try to take all our tokens, the other wallets uh, will be okay? Like if we have one for whatever, ArcFi or whatever it may be. Correct, Does that correct. Keep the other one secure and then... Oh, yep. perfect. E exactly. That is, a, yep, exactly. Because they're all different wallet addresses. And every time you connect with the ROI DAP, you, we're given permissions for that wallet to interact with that DAP. And there's code written in there. And if you're not reading the code or, you know, 99% of us don't, um, we don't, true. when we give it permission to connect, then, you know, we're giving it permission to pull funds out of there, you know, based on the contract. And then so, Harvest Keeper, they came by and was like, hey, we're changing the contract from 4.81 to 6.5 and everybody must do a withdrawal right now or within 24 hours to get the new contract price. And people was in there withdrawn and it would literally took like, I think they said a couple million dollars from people's wallets that was sitting there, which is crazy, yeah. man. And so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm in favor of just keeping a separate wallet for every single ROI DAP. And if I got multiple, uh, 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 um, well, in order to connect and have multiple wallets with the DAP, you can't use the same one to have multiple connections. You got to keep making new wallets for that anyway. All right. Thanks for that strategy, because I was thinking of getting a new laptop to do all this questionable stuff. But just to have it under the multiple ones with the same one, that's perfect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yep. Good question. Uh, blessing. Hand up. Blessing. Kapaku. Okay. If you're speaking, you have to unmute yourself. You do have your hand up. Okay. Can you okay. hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, I just have a question. Is it possible to repost this um this uh, video on maybe on Telegram for for someone to release it or maybe to watch again as to understand more? Oh yeah, yeah. As soon as soon as we get done, um, I'll upload the recording. It'd be a couple hours, but it'd be on YouTube before the end of the night. And then I will also post it in um, my Telegram channel and then also okay. on my Facebook group as well too. So it'll be everywhere by the morning for sure. Okay, then. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Great question. Hey, Terrence. Yes. Are you sure you're going to do the private programs next week? <laughs> um, this, I am this is sure. HH. Huh? This is who? <laughs> this is Herman, man. Oh, Herman. How you doing, Herman. brother? I'm doing oh, fine. Yes. yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, I, that was the plan today. They, we went in just different direction, but I am going to do the private programs next week. And actually, um, I'm probably going to do me a link tree um, because that's pretty much the way they're doing them. They give you a link to the link tree. Then you can go watch a little recorded video on the link tree some way or another. Gotcha. So I'll, I'll, I'll do a video for all three of these this week um, and they'll be up there, but I'll cover them on a live Zoom next week as well, too. Oh, yeah. And whoever uh, shared that uh that anonymous, I uh, appreciate it because now I can at least get on the um, Zoom on Wednesday to listen in. Uh, mm -hmm. So I appreciate that. Good, good teamwork. All right, man. Yes. Keep doing a good job. Great trade. Thank you. Bless you, sir. Thank All you. Right. All right. Yes, I got Rosie's hand up and then Chantel Johnson next. Rosie? Yes. Um. Thank you. Great job, Terrence, and thank you again. I have a question in regards to the C12. I just yes, did a reinvestment, reinvest, and I can't find where it went or where to look to see where to find the. Uh, yep. So right. go to st go to statistics um, from your menu bar. Go to statistics and then click on my reinvest. Um, it's on the same timer as withdrawal. So if it was under 300, it'd be 24 hours before it actually shows up and reinvest. Um, if it's uh, 300 to 500, it'd be 48 hours. Uh, 500 to 999, it'd be 72. And anything over $1,000, it'd be actually 96 hours. And weekends, obviously, too. 
before you see it in your active investments. But you can see everything going on uh, directly from your statistics page and click on my reinvestments. Oh, okay. I see it now. There it is. It says <laughs> hours, <laughs> something like that. Yay. Okay. So then it will show up on the um, dashboard page, correct? With the correct. Time frame. Yes, oh, it wonderful. will. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Great question. Chantel Johnson. Yes, sir. Hi. Um, thank you again for taking our questions. Um, two questions. Number one, this is my first week with the private investment group. So mm -hmm. like tomorrow will be my first Friday. I'm all excited and geeked to see what it uh, turns out like. Now, do you guys send out something to show us where we land on Friday or I wait till Monday? What do I expect? Because this is the completion of my first week. Well, well, congratulations on your first week. Welcome to the squad. I appreciate you. you. Uh, yep. And so what, what's going to happen this week is you're going to get a Google Doc statement emailed to your email address. And your Google Doc statement is going to say week beginning 515. And then it's going to have um, the results for the week, which you made for the week, which you started with, um, if you had any commissions or top ups or any of that data, but it's just going to show the results for uh, the week of May 15th, week beginning May 15th. And it's a dynamic Google Doc. And so once you get that doc, you just hold on to that. And every week I'll come in and update it and new numbers will be on there. Now, my goal is to get them done on Saturday, um, but it's been Sunday by midnight uh, lately. So I'll just tell you Sunday by midnight, um, but I do expect to have them done before Sunday at midnight this week. And then what I'll do is I'll post in the private Telegram and the private Facebook group to let all the investors know that the statements are out or updated and out for, for newbies. Perfect. So if I don't do anything, then you will automatically uh, compound it if I yep. do nothing? Is that how it goes if I want it compounded? Yep. If you don't respond to the statement, email me, get a hold of me some way or another, then I assume that you want it to compound and it does automatically compound for you. Awesome. And then my, my, my second question was just about the C12. I am very interested, but you told me in order to kind of make sure that I know what's what to get with an admin. So do I just go into that admin chat chat and request the one-on-one? -on -one? Is that what I do? Yeah, well, C12, um, C12, um, I'm not sure. Like, um, So you sent to me, when you get started with C12, it's just a matter of getting the proper address in there. Um, and so if you get that done, um, anybody, I mean, I say anybody, but yes, the admins can help you in there, but you get registered and stuff and then have your cryptocurrency ready to send, um, which I'm not sure if the cryptocurrency uh, stored in, um, you know, Bitcoin or USDT, not sure what you have, but as long as you purchase that, it literally takes five minutes to do everything else. So you got my number, just let me know. Oh. Okay, I feel I feel pretty comfortable with that. I just wanted to learn more of the of the language overall about this whole space, and then I can feel a little bit better about going ahead and doing the transaction. So even if they're not walking me through the C twelve transaction, I just wanted to. You said that this would be the space where I could get an overview um, on just how to maneuver these types of transactions, what the lingo is, and all that. So just to yeah. kind of get me an intro beginner course the admins could do that and i just request it through the chat mm -hmm. yep okay okay all okay. right thank you all right all right sheila reed hey, oh, hey, hey, i have sheila friend. reed with a hand up and then i'll get the next person sheila okay hey thanks again terrence quick question for you um yes, number one is there um, any benefit to withdrawing uh, the monies out of C12 to back to the wallet, like the old way we used to do it, uh, versus just reinvesting it? And second, no. um, you know, is the reinvest going to be a, a temporary uh, fix for the high fees? Is the company or is the company thinking about having that reinvest for the long term? Thank you. 
Yep, good question. They are thinking about having the reinvest for a long term. They put it out to everybody. And the reinvest is a help to me if you plan on reinvesting. Now, so if you plan on compounding, it to me, it doesn't make sense to withdraw it. You want to just do the simple reinvest button if your plan is to compound. Thank you. You're welcome. Has somebody else that spoke up as well? Uh, yeah, Terrence, that was me, Robert Moore. Oh, yes, sir. Um, How are you doing, Mr. Moore? Just fine, sir. Um, I was just going to recommend to the lady that was talking about C12 that mm -hmm. one of the things that I found that helped me a lot was just to read through the frequently asked questions for each of the categories. I mean, that was a big help to get an insight on C12. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing with C12, Terrence, if you buy the TRC20, um, do you have to have some Tron in there too, or that doesn't matter as long as it's in your wallet? Well, the having Tron in your wallet is only specific to like ROI data. I mean, to like Web3 wallets. And then so yes. from, from the Web3 side, if you're using a trust wallet, um, something like that. Yes, you need Tron, but if you're on Binance or you're on KuCoin or you're on Kraken, you don't need no Tron in there because they're going to take the fees from outs out of the native token. So if you're sending Bitcoin, they're going to take a little Bitcoin for gas. You're sending, you know, USDT for somewhere to take a little USDT okay. for. Yeah. So, but on Trust Wallet, yes, you need those gas fees or any other decentralized wallet. Generally, there's gas fees you need. Okay. I, the reason why I guess I thought that way, because I, I, I use Exodus. Yep. So Exodus, you need them over on Exodus. Yep. Okay. I get it. Okay. And I'm I'm just super excited uh, about C12 and your MMM program. And I'm actually trying to use C12 as a feeder so that uh -huh. I can make more to be able to top up in your program. Well, there you go, man. That's a, that's a great combination right there, man. Thank you for support on both. And I've been meaning to get with you for like four or five weeks now, so I do apologize. Um, but I, I will be getting with you, and I do appreciate you, sir. Yes, sir, absolutely. All righty. Hey, Mr. Terrence. Yes, hello. Yeah, it's Pastor Godfrey Stephon. Um, hey. What, he, what the gentleman just said, that's what we're doing, too. We're using C12 and something else to... Uh, to help fund our MMM account. So that's a great strategy for anybody that's in C12 to, to use that to fund Mr. Terrence's account. Great way to go. Um, my question real quick is, um, I have our MMM account and I put it in my business partner's name. I have it in her name. Could mm -hmm. you add me to that group um, so I can have access to that? Yeah, yeah, yep. I know it's in your business partner's name. Um, yes. yes, I can. Yep, I still can add you to that group. One thousand percent, no problem. Yep, and uh, just just uh, send me a request again, if you would, or do Messenger, okay. so I can make sure I get you in the Messenger group there. I mean, not Messenger, Telegram, and then I'll get you Telegram. there. And then, um, yep, and then the same thing on Facebook. Message me on Facebook Messenger, so that way I can add you as well to the Facebook one. Okay, I appreciate it so much. No, bless you and thank you, sir. Yes, sir. God, let's, let's go C12. Let's go MMM. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other questions, concerns, comments, or great ideas before we log out today? Well, Mr. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. What was that? I guess I got your number. This is Mr. Johnson again. That's Jay. I I, I, I got a um and like I said, I was just coming in on that C12. I, I have a couple of issues every time I try to buy Tron or try to buy. Uh, it's not. Yeah, I, it's just like a sidebar. Is there any way I can give you a call? I have a number. I think I gave you a call a couple of days ago. I know you're busy, but. Yeah, tonight I'm done. I'm going home and I'm done for tonight. So um, you can hit me up sometime tomorrow after four. I'm trading in the market from nine to four thirty, so I just don't personally have time to to help with that stuff because I'm watching the dollars. And then after that, I have scheduled evening events. So, like to get that help, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier to get with people in my Telegram because besides me trading all week, I'm a full time minister. 
I'm a full-time father. I'm a full-time husband. I have grandchildren. Gotcha. And as much as I love all of y'all, I don't want to talk to y'all all, all the time. <laughs> like, like, give me a break. Like, you know, not all, all the time. I, I know people like, well, you ain't on no call right now. You ain't trading right now. But Jesus, <laughs> like, I want to do something else besides DeFi sometimes. But but That's but if you need <laughs> But if you need me um, after 430 weekdays, just hit me. But the quick direct help with 1000 percent being a telegram with the admins and people, there's 1500 people um, in there. And there's people that would be willing to help you. That's not going to scam you or hurt you directly in a telegram as well. OK, that's the thing. I don't I don't I've never done a telegram, so I need to do yeah. that. And I would. Well, 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 well do yeah. That, uh, yep. I'm going to say I'm going to say this again for everybody on the call. If you're in these DeFi projects and you're not in telegram, you're wrong. You are wrong at this fine. juncture. You, you're, you're not. And I'm not picking on you, but I, I tell people this all the time. Ninety nine percent of these projects, they report stuff on telegram. So if we play in this space, we got to have a telegram and, and we got to figure out really how to use it effectively, at least to follow up on the projects. And then all of their support, like most of their support channels are there. So like if you need help with, you know, your wallet or you need help with this, a lot of that stuff operates on Telegram. So it's our key to the future gotcha. or one of the keys. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, well, I'm new to it. I'm three days new good. to it. All well, good. So, Welcome. Uh, we're going to get you. We're going to get you <laughs> inundated I'll, fast. <laughs> yes, yes, and I understand when you're busy, you're busy. Because, like I said, I I do a traveling job, so it's just like, oh, I hope I can get home. No, I'll be home another three days, you know. Oh, yeah. So I understand busy. I understand. I know you got your hands full. So I will. I'll try to go in. Uh, the two definitely go through the Telegram and try to get some answers there. Okay. All righty. Well, oh, cool. You so mm -hmm. Yep. You're welcome. I see niece with a hand up. Or Nisi? Yes, thank you. Yes, Nisi. Yes. Thank you. Hey, Nisi. You're welcome. Um, wanted to ask you a quick question. I came on kind of late, but I saw that you went over Solar Road. So yes. I wanted to uh, ask, is is that similar? Because I did a little research and I was trying to figure out, is that similar to Fintalk as far as supercomputer thing that they... I'm I'm not so I'm not so let, sure. So so they're similar but two completely different projects. The only real similarity between them is the dashboards. And then also the other similarity to them is they have a token that appreciates in price. But 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 honestly, Fentosh to me seems more real. You know, okay. real stable now. Now I I feel like Solar Road's a great gamble play, but I think I kind of feel like 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 a uh, Fintosh might might be around, and I don't want to say that then it disappear tomorrow. You be like you said it was going to be around. Well, I said I think I think <laughs> you know, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. and now Solar Road it could be around, but the biggest thing about Solar Road is that token appreciating in price. I love that, and so if you five and six and seven and eight and nine ten percent every day on a token. You know, who cares about the daily ROI that token is accumulating in price? And so that's why I like Solar Road. But with Fintosh, the token's locked up for some time, even though it's appreciating crazy, it's locked up for some time still. Okay, so Fintech, I mean, fin Fintosh been around how long? Fintosh been around since last year. So Fintosh oh, okay. came out, um, Fintosh came out, I think in December. I think in December, don't okay. hold me to it. Um, and then where um, this solar road is 30 days in. Okay. Okay. So based on your vibe, I'm just going off of your vibe, Mr. Pounds. Based on your vibes, you favor <laughs> you favor Fintosh well, better. Well, because well, I, well, I mean, I, I, well, well I, let's I, put it I, this I, way. I, 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 okay, go ahead. <laughs> let's put it this way. I've, I've been in Fintosh for two and a half, three months. I started with Fintosh, I put in 2000. Just a week and a half ago, I took my bet up to 30,000 in Fintosh. Now, Solar Road's only been around for 30 days. I put 1,000 in Solar Road 30 days ago. 
or maybe two, three weeks ago. And then today I decided not to put more money into the investment part. I decided to spend 10,000 on the side token that's appreciating crazy in price. And so um, one's oh, I've been a few months, one, not quite a month, one 30,000, one 10,000. So now Solar Road gets to be three, four months down the line. I might feel a little differently about that, but the, the major reason I feel differently about Fintosh because Fintosh is actually a, a lending protocol where you, you they're providing liquidity. They got their own DAP, all that different stuff, uh, DEX. It's just a differently built project. So in a nutshell, yes, I do feel better about Fintosh for a number of different reasons, but I sure stuck 10,000 in those side tokens just today. So. Okay. Okay. So um, my, my last, so my last thought about this is the token SOD. You can just buy it on any platform. If you, if you want, if I want to bypass the project. You cannot, you can only buy it from one place. You can only, you can only get it from in solar road or you can go to okay. one secondary marketplace uh, that is an authorized reseller of it, so they say. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. No, you're welcome. Great questions, Nisi. Okay. Anyone else? All right. Well, I'm gone. I'm going to go get some dinner. Bless you all. Thank you all. Appreciate you all. And to the moon. Peace. To the moon. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody.